Welcome to this demo of our legal project management solution built on Monday.com. I am Damien Edwards, the commercial manager here at Interface. Interface are Monday.com Gold Partners with offices in the UK, the US and Hong Kong. We have transformed the way hundreds of businesses operate with a simple mantra we design easy to use connected systems that allow organizations to operate with more speed and we provide complete visibility that allows organizations to control their processes and measure performance. We can support you to scope out your requirements, set everything up, train your users and provide ongoing help to keep you on track and updated with the latest features. So let's jump into our Monday board. What is Monday.com? It is a customizable work operating system where teams create and shape workflows to plan, run and track their operations. It is a cloud-based platform that uses a building block structure, which means you can create systems and processes exactly the way you need them. Monday consists of boards such as this that can be viewed in multiple different ways. Uh, it's built with, uh, includes uh, integrations with most of the main tools that you're probably already using. And it has a very powerful automation solution that allows you to potentially save considerable amounts of time on those repeat tasks. So here we have a series of boards set up, we have clients and contacts, and you can store your client data inside Monday, or we can sync with one of your external systems. We have a high level matter board set up here that shows you uh, an overview of all matters in progress. We have a resourcing board that allows you to allocate people to matters and see who's over resourced and who's under resourced. We have a billing board and we have a couple of dashboards down here too. So let's add um, a new matter into here. We're going to call it XYZ matter. On this board, we have, let's just allocate a team to that and let's just allocate that to particular contact and a business. So on this board, we have an overview of all the matters that are in planning, in progress and our completed matters. So we can filter by any of the fields that exist on this board. We might want to filter by team. So here you can see we have a London team. Let's filter by that team. If we select filter, then we just see now on this board those matters that are allocated to the London team. Other ways you might want to filter is by this field. So this shows us whether the matter is actually on budget or whether we're over budget for that matter. Let's just clear that filter. We can also view this high level board in multiple different ways, not just as a table. And we have a Gantt chart set up here. So this shows us across the business, all the matters that are in progress, the start date and the expected close date. We can create baselines so that we can check uh, actual progress against our expected progress. So we have created our new matter. Only thing we need to do is allocate that to a template. So we have a we have some different templates set up here, commercial family and employment. Based on the template we select, it will generate for us a matter in the system uh, from a pre-built from a pre-built template. So here a bit further down, we have our matters. This is the one that's being created for us from the template. We can see here that we have the columns 
created for us and it's pretty blank except for these out of scope tasks. So we have a series of tasks that are common to this type of matter, which we can pull in to our matter tasks section and we can indeed add tasks manually to this to this section. So once we've once we've added all the required tasks, we can allocate individual tasks to individual users within within the system. We can start to put in things like timelines. So we can put in things like start and end dates. And we can do things like check the estimate of the number of hours for individual tasks. And if required, we can adjust some of these. We've also got pre-built for these tasks. We've got some pre-built estimates on the duration. If we think those need amending, then we can do that. We can do that also. So we can build up our, our matter with individual tasks. Let's just jump into a matter that is, is, is in progress. You can see we have our tasks in here allocated to different people within the team. We can see that we're all okay and on budget currently. We can see our timelines. We have our uh, time sections split by chargeable and non-chargeable time. We have our resources split into high, medium, and standard. That allows us to control the cost we're charging to the client. And we can see some information about our estimated hours and durations. We can see a metric here that shows us uh, our actual time booked on the matter uh, against the estimated time, and we can see an estimate of the cost over, over here. So this matter is fully populated and in progress, but to get to this point, there's a couple of other things that we need to do. We need to do first. If we go into our slider view of our head task, we can see details about the matter. We can see the client and contact information over here. And we can see our template documents as well. So we have a scoping, a matter plan, and a review document. Obviously, the review gets done at the end to check um, how successful the matter was executed. The matter plan can be completed once we've gathered all the information and can be shared internally and with the client. And the scoping document is the document that we start, we start with at the beginning of the matter. So this allows us to collect information. We have on this template, we have a series of questions and these have been answered by the project manager or the lawyer in charge of this matter. Also pulls in some key pieces of information from the matter itself and allows us to gather the full scope of the matter at the beginning, at the beginning of the project. So we have, we have gathered the scope of the matter. The next thing we need to do is resourcing. If we head over to our resourcing dashboard, we can see split by teams at the top. And then a bit further down, we have individual lawyers. And we can see quite clearly here who is over resourced and who has capacity split in this case by weeks. If I drop down this individual lawyers section, I can see why this person is over capacity. They have a series of matters they're working on uh, for the next four, four to five weeks. So let's go back into our matter, having scope, having resourced, having identified who is available to work on this matter. We have everything set up and we can we can work on the individual tasks associated with the matter. Now with Monday.com, we can keep all our communication in context. Instead of using things like email and other platforms where messages can be lost, we can communicate to the team and the client 
inside each of the tasks like this. So I can approve and like some of those comments and I can mention people and post messages inside the update section of each individual task. We can add time in chargeable and non-chargeable time columns here. We can start the clock, record time uh, live, and we can add time in sections as well. So I can add blocks of time to this matter. We scroll over here, we can see here an estimate of the actual spent against our estimate that we put into the matter at the beginning, put into the task at the beginning of the matter. We can work through this, these ones are done, we can work through these and update the stages to done when they are complete. And we can view these matters in different ways. So we have a workload set up for the individual matter, and we can add additional views as well, including uh, calendar views, Kanban views, and Gantt. So let's add a Gantt chart to this matter. Very easy to do. Now I can see the start and end dates, estimated start and end dates for this individual matter. And we can set that against a baseline that allows us to see how much progress we've made against our original estimate. We can easily add additional columns to these matters. We have dozens of standard columns available, so you can add those as required. We have, as we mentioned, as I mentioned, integration with most of the other tools that you're likely to use, including things like Gmail and Outlook, Zoom and Slack. And we can create automations that manage routine tasks that take up much of your time. We have processes set up here that move the matter through different groups based on the stage of the matter. And let's put in a new automation. So what I want to do when status change, when the budget status field changes to over budget, then what I want to do is notify somebody your matter is over budget and we can insert the item here so that there is a link to that and then we can choose who's going to be notified and that and that's it very simple to create uh, your automations so once the matter is complete you're going to need to bill the client and we have a billing section set up here now you can record you can store time booked on a matter and roll that up into a bill uh, you can then either export that data into excel to import into another system or we can sync with your finance system or in this case, we have a generator, a document generator that is producing a, a branded up invoice with details pulled in, including the costs and the descriptions, the company name, details pulled in from the Matterboard. So we can also give access to this matter to the client and they will see a board like this. They can see the matters that are in planning, those that are in progress. And we've got some widgets down here that show things like amount due and amount paid. You can customize fully 
this dashboard and uh, we have a large number of widgets that you can pull in to create the dashboard that's suitable you can or your client can communicate with you directly within the monday board by opening up this window and you can reply to them within within monday.com and finally we have a reporting dashboard so with all this data inside monday.com you can display the information in this way here we can see matters or bills split by client we can see the stages of individual matters we can see those that are on budget and over budget down here we've got those matters split by teams so that's it thank you very much for your time this is an application that is available free of charge with enterprise editions of monday.com if you'd like to find out more get in touch with us our website address is on there interface.com slash monday